青コーナーよりクイントン・ランページ・ジャクソン選手の入場です。Well, it cannot possibly get any more exciting than that, or can it? It probably can. Damon the Dog Perry, and of course, Boss Rudin here for Total Elimination 2003. Now for fight number two of the middleweights, trying to advance the final conflict. Chuck Liddell just beat Alistar over him. Boss, now we're looking at Quentin Rampage Jackson and Bustamante replacing Arono in this one, but it still is going to be top quality. There's Rampage right there. And there is his hole. And now he's got his own song, ladies and gentlemen. He's got his own rap, his own song, and he's going to come up. And this fight, I think, is going to be longer. If it's going to be shorter than the first two ones, it's got to be longer. It's got to be longer. I mean, come on. And you can see he's got that mouthpiece that lights up. Unbreakable mouthpiece. He wanted me to thank them as well. Sirius Pimp.com, TireBarn.com, LexaniWheel.com, TopLimo.com, and BJJTapes.com. And BossRooten.tv. And, and BossRooten.Utaman.com. This ought to be good because Dot the last dude didn't go that long, if you know what I'm saying. But you know that on Boss Rooten TV, if you go to the most outstanding fighter award, he is there on my list as number one. Fighter, most outstanding fighter, Quentin Rampage Jackson. Well, obviously, Rampage is a show as much as a fight. His show is quality, and his fighting is even more quality. You tend to, I think he almost distracts the fans and distracts the people to think that he's not that serious a fighter, but he trains hard, got one of the best training groups out there, Timo Yama, and he is for real in all aspects and his ground game improving all the time. Yes, the, 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 the quality of fighters that he beat is just unreal. I mean, he walked over Igor Volchenshi and then he goes to K1, knocks out Cyril and DB. I mean, the guy knows it all. He's, one of the first MMA fighters that goes to K1 and knocks people out there. But now, I mean, you, you gotta, gotta have a lot of, that uh, you gotta have a lot of something that. there. Oh, yes, I know what you want to say. You gotta have a lot of oh, hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giddy up, my friend. Giddy up. And uh, you know, obviously, he is an intense man, but he has so much fun, and he's really uh, a, a pleasure to be around. He's always a man quick with a joke and whatnot. And the chain is his, that's his staple, baby. He's doing his thing right now before the fight even starts. Oh, yes, he's getting into the groove. He's getting into the Quinton Rampage. That's it, the groove, baby. And he is getting now closer to the ring. We'll walk by our table momentarily here at Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. Pride Fighting Championships, total elimination 2003. 35,000 plus people as now Rampage walking toward, taking looks at the crowd one more time, and he is looking ready. Uh, look at his mouthpiece. It's a Japanese flag and an American flag on the other side. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, you know, he's a man of the people. He's a man <laughs> of the people. He loves all ladies and people. And man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. It's I mean, it. Boss, I think you definitely know what I'm saying. But. Oh, yeah. No, no, come on. If, if you have a, what, what is it? PimpDaddy.com or what was it? Yeah, that's one. <laughs> How many you want, baby? Because that's one. The legend, Boss Rutten. Now we await uh, his opponent. And again, we thought, he thought, most people thought it would be Ricardo Orono, but he will get a guy that actually has been looking for a fight. Uh, he's still got a belt with the UFC. Uh, Bustamante can, he can pose a lot of different problems. Is he a better opponent than Orono? Uh, better meaning a harder fight for Rampage Jackson. Yes, I um, I think he is, but um, uh, Arona I think is a little bit more slicker. Yes. Uh, better with submissions. If Quinto's going to clinch up with him, uh, Arona wouldn't slip a triangle choke on Bustamante will. He will jump up and go for a tri flying triangle or a uh, flying armbar or something. Arona wouldn't have done that. So a little more slippery, obviously, and able to get out of certain situations, perhaps. He's a much more experienced fighter as well, and that's probably what's going to allow him to do just that as we now await his entrance. But it, it, one of the more interesting things, or again, speaking of his, you know, Dana White talked about Chuck's attitude of just being a fighter. 
Well, Quentin Jackson didn't care. Okay, my opponent's changed. Well, bring it on. I'm going to fight. This is about total elimination. This is about proving I'm the best middleweight in the world, not just in one fight. So he's ready to fight whoever it might have been. Yeah, and you know also what the really cool thing was? Well, I, I, I was there at the moment they kind of that Murillo knew that he was going to fight uh, Quinton and they met each other at breakfast in the hotel mm. and they walked to each other, they shook each other's hand and Rampage said, it's just a job guy, it's just a job Murillo and he says, no, I'm okay man and they were like, it's strange, you know, it's like they're, they're friends and now they're going to face off. One of the best things about the mixed martial arts fighting is, quite frankly, the intimate atmosphere that the fighters uh, have during the week leading up to the fight, during the training leading up to the fight. As you said, they eat together, they see each other on the elevator. There is a certain amount of respect and a lot of pride. Pride in each other, pride for themselves, pride on the line tonight. Yeah. And pride in the ring. Now obviously, uh, this is a, a, an older opponent, but a more experienced opponent, a very confident opponent. When I talked to Bustamante yesterday, he was, he says he's not, this was the interesting part. He says he did kind of stop training for a fight a few weeks before and started really helping a run on helping the other fighters uh, get ready for their fights. But then when he got the call, he says he has had some injuries, but he almost felt like this was a calling that uh, God asked him to be in this fight and he's using, he's has a tremendous amount of faith as you can see, he is saying a prayer now. He said he relies a lot on prayer and yoga, and this is about his spirit, and he was called for this fight, and that kind of faith is courage. And you can see Arona standing behind him cheering as well. Ooh, let's go to the announcing. Boss, I think this one has got to last longer. <laughs> it has to. Unbreakable mouth, please. Baby. I want my belt. That's what he says there. Yes. That's Rampage to you as we get the Japanese flavor here. Quinton Rampage Jackson. And he shows that mouthpiece. So he has another mouthpiece now. Yes, he did change. Well, that's the versatility that he can show there. He has several moves in the ring. He also has several mouthpieces. There we go. And right there's there. Mario Sperry also in the corner with Arona as they will watch their teammate try to, well, I, I guess you would have to consider this a mild upset if it is to happen that Quinton loses this fight. Yes, uh, a mild, <laughs> quote, upset, yeah. Again, it was uh, not until, I mean, Arona was actually here in Vegas, was examined by Doc, or Vegas, listen to me. I'm thinking about those days when I saw you in Vegas, baby. <laughs> actually here in Japan and examined by doctors here before it was determined that it was broken and he would not be able to go. Here we go. Queen Rampage Jackson, Murillo Bustamante from Brazil, touch gloves. They are in the center. Jackson throwing the jabs with the left hand. And again, a very stoic look by his opponent who throws a right cross blocked nicely by Quentin Jackson, who is not even sweating yet. Usually he's sweating when he just walks down the elevator. He's always full, full of energy. And right now they're kind of feeling each other out in the traditional boxing stance. There's a right jab that at least connects, not or a left jab rather, does not do a lot of damage. Who's going to make the first move here, boss? I don't know. It, it appears there Jackson, it is. And a nice knee there to the body. He, and this is what we were expecting. Yes. He's jumping and trying to take him in the guard. But Quint is probably going to try to throw him. Watch this. This might be what he is now becoming, if you're an opponent, infamous for, if you are a fan, famous for. And we're talking about Rampage as he is going to go. Oh, he is strutting with him, carrying his baby. He's going to put him in his corner, ring. a Rampage corner. Yes, he so wants he him over here. He wants people on this side. He wants his corner. He wants to be able to hear what his corner is saying. And now. And he should just stand up now and walk away. That's what he should do. Actually, the referee is going to do that for him, boss. And no, send them back. Restart send them the back into the, the center of the ring. We start in the same position, and this is what Murillo wants. 
Uh, I, I don't know. But if the guard uh, wasn't close. Yeah, Let's I, see. I don't okay. know if they're real happy with that restart in Quinn's corner, but here it is. And now a few right hands connect there by Bustamante as he is in the open guard, no question. Quinton now doing the smart thing, staying close, not wanting to uh, uh, get that, that those punches to fly off the chest of Guzmante, who's very clever from here, boss. Yes, um, but with an open guard, Quinton's smart move would be, look, there's armor already. I told you. Yes, he's got it just like that. Quinton's gonna slam him, Just this. like that, that's the only thing he can do from this point. And he is in trouble. Oh Referee my God. taking a close yep. look. This is the cleverness. This is... Quentin's he's got able to get out. Triangle choke. Now he's got triangle oh, choke, and he slams oh. him down. That was the slam of Quentin, ladies and gentlemen. But Wham, you saw. bam, rampage slam right there to get out of. But did you see what Bustamante did? I told you, he plays open guard and goes for an armbar. This is a very tricky guy. This Somebody is plays open guard, get out. This is Don't exactly go. what you talked about. And in your opinion, it looked like Quinn did not get out of there early enough. No, he could have. So he should have. Now, this should be his warning. Don't play the ground game. Because this was a close one. Now, again, they are standing, exchanging. Bustamante looking confident as he should be he had some early success in trying to take it down slams Quinton across the ropes so they are each hanging over the ropes and obviously and now I wonder what's gonna happen well I would they've got to get them off there and bring them back in but the referee just putting them not back into the center but just inside of the ropes it looks like yeah I think that now the referee's gonna wait a little bit if the move uh, if the position is going to change they're gonna restart it in this position in the center of the ring and his corner now talking about uh, time to stand back up, Rampage. Time to stand up. That's where you can do your most damage. As we are in round one of three scheduled rounds here between Rampage and Murillo. Obviously, the first two did not go that long. Yeah, Murillo knows that the, that the referee, he said he knows if I stay in this position, we're going to restart to the center, you see? Yes. That's why he didn't do anything. Because if he moves, there's a possibility for Rampage to escape the whole situation. So he says, let's just hold him. Uh, pull myself a little bit more through the ropes, put my head out of the ropes, and then they're going to restart. And that's what's going to happen right now. Very smart move here by Murillo. And this is what we talked about. He has more experience. And, boss, you've been talking about it the entire time. Not, I mean, crafty, not even the right word. Just uh, a very intelligent fighter here. And they have indeed restarted in that position in the center of the ring. Now it's going to be very dangerous for Quentin. Murillo is phenomenal on the ground. So he's going to escape already in the half guard. As you can see, oh, Winton twists him, but still doesn't mean anything. The advantage here choke. still in the guillotine he's here. He's choke. He's got, his he's got a very strong guillotine on him now. Rampage, you can see his face. Yes. He is definitely feeling the effect of that choke, walking him over to the ropes now. Quentin should turn his head to the right He's right getting now. instruction from his corner now. If he turns his head to the right, the choke will be off his Adam apple, Adam's apple and not really on the cross choke. So then there's nothing going on. And now this he is could be dangerous. This could be real dangerous here. Murillo has not let go of that choke at all. Quinton was not able to do what you said, boss, and that was no, turned to the right. He's scrolling out. He's scrolling out. Murillo has got one arm underneath Quinton's armpit, so he doesn't have it full on like you see here. You see, he has one arm underneath the armpit and one arm around. This is more dangerous. Quentin should turn his his jaw into the chest of Murillo. And Bustamante. what does Murillo have to do to finish it right now? He's got to underhook his underarm too, but now he's loose. He's loose. Quentin is out. Quentin is out. The danger is gone. And that was he's danger, out. no doubt, but he is. And you can... You can see now both of these fighters right now, and they're going to restart this here. Yeah, Quentin is complaining about something, but I don't know what it is. Oh, his pants came off. Well, that's that's worth complaining about, no doubt about that. Yes, we couldn't see it here from uh, the point of view from the people at home, but we could see it here, of course, because we're sitting ringside. Quentin's trunks came down. So two, uh, two attempts at submission here early in this first round by Murillo. And near, I, I mean, I, I guess a hell of a lot of credit to Rampage for being able to get out of these. Uh, seemingly a lot of fighters with that choke was vicious, but again, he was able to get out and get out earlier uh, by slamming down Murillo when he was in the triangle choke then, boss. Yeah, the, 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 the guillotine choke, he had one arm underneath the armpit, so that was not such a dangerous one if you know how to get out. And obviously, Quinton knew how to stay out of it. Um, the other one was a little bit more dangerous. Still, you know, 
you see how fast it goes with Murillo Bustamante. You give him one little mistake, he will capitalize on it, and he's going to get you. And he's going to go and go like this. He's the same as his, as his teammate uh, Nogueira. Also, same thing there. You know, he will play for guard, go for triangle, go to into the armbar, figure four. He's, he's all over the place. And Quinton now, shorts almost ready to go. Murillo uh, talked about, you know, he said, quite frankly, yes, I'm scared. There's always fear before a fight, and the, the, uh, the, the challenge is to transfer that fear, is to transfer that fear. He looks like he's done that. He looks extremely confident up there. Oh, yes, you can say that again. They're going to restart in the same position, which is strange. The shorts there probably worked in Quinton's favor. He got a rest. I think so too, but in both. Oh, a foot oh, left knee! A foot left knee by Rampage! Very and now nice. he is waiting for Murillo to get up. He wants him up. That is where he needs to be. And he got a great knee right across the face there. Beautiful. Super reflexes. And this is where he obviously he has learned his lesson. He's going to want to have it up here. Although, again, he did a great job on the ground doing what he needed to do. And that was not uh, let that choke take firm hold. Back up now, throwing jabs to Murillo. Yeah, let's see what this is going to bring. Of, of course, he's going to play a little bit more slick now. Quinton is. He doesn't want to have Murillo again jumping into that. This is a very good move. Start from good the low, low kick. kick to the outside, and obviously a combination by Murillo punches did not do any damage. Quinton now seemingly much more confident. Both fighters miss on blows there, and they are on the clinch, and there's another knee, and Murillo kind of takes him down, kicks to the head. Quinton able to get right back up here. Again, that's where he wants to be. Boss. He really wants to be on his feet. What two warnings. Maybe three strikes is out, he's gonna think, so let's stay on the feet. And they are back at it in the center. Rampage, kind of a half, just a position jab there, really now guarding against the combination. Yeah, he should uh, throw a simple white one, two, I think, to feel everything out. One, two, one, left, right. I would think he did expect this type of bout. It's probably going pretty much as expected. Knew this opponent was more experienced. And there's a good body shot of right Very nice. to the body there. That's one of my favorite combinations, I swear to God. Left hook to the head, right straight to the body. Oh, I could feel it from here, and it did not feel good. <laughs> And there's a, oh, it looks like Jackson swipped, uh, swipped, he swipped, he slipped a little bit right there. Yep. But he's all right, both butters up. It has been up for a while now, and actually, Marilla doing a fine job of defending combination from Quentin Jackson, although he did take that one severe shot to the body. And let's see who gets the, whoa. Uh, looks like he stunned him a little bit with a right hand, did Marilla, and again, this one will be the first fight of the night if it goes the distance of this first round to advance to a second round, boss. Yes, I think they just announced five minutes past. So three? I'm getting word that it was three, and there's a combination. I don't know how many minutes are left with that, but that hurt no matter what minute you're in, no question about it. Fight going back onto the ground now, and again, I would have to say, Advantage here, no question to Murillo. Uh, right now, not that bad. If, if, he, if Quinton stays in the half guard, it's good. If Murillo is going to worm himself out, wriggle himself out, it goes to like what he's doing right now, now Quinton's got to get up. This is exactly his game plan. And this is go, what go. he did not do, uh, yes. Uh, obviously, when he ended up falling into the guillotine, it was because as Boss talked about, he's got to get up quicker, got to get up quicker. Now both standing again, I think this is... Obvious. Oh, there's a good right overhand cross from Murillo right there. Another one lands there, and Quinn laughing, saying, come on, come on. And they touch gloves. A lot of respect here, a lot of pride, but Rampage says, yeah, you got me, you got me, but I'm still all right, I'm still right here. And there's a right hand miss, jab lead now by Rampage, who's looking, looking for an opportunity. I'll tell you, this guy is tough to get inside of, Murillo here, with these punches. He's doing a real good job. We know that Murillo has real good right hand. Ooh, he dropped uh, many uh, in the UFC with it, with the right straight hat. Um, Quinton just should keep looking. He looked a little bit away when he gave a one-two. He should get up now. Yep. He connected earlier with that shot to the body. Uh, would you like to see him go more toward the body? It looks like he is able to, uh, to to guard the head, the face very well, Marilla. How about more shots to the body, Bob? You took the words just out of my mouth. Well, you want him back here. You, 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 oh, you, 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 you. how they taste, baby. Okay, how they taste. Good. Hey, right. Maybe he should uh, throw a few body shots now. And there's a left that got in by Marilla. <laughs> very nice. I've heard that before. Boss Rudin ever, I'm as clever as they come, as we are going towards certainly 
Finally, in the final minutes, left to check there from round one. One minute, one minute now, one minute now in round one. This, the second of four middleweight fights for uh, total elimination 2003. The four winners advancing to November's final conflict in the Pride Championships. Again, under a minute here. Uh, obviously, they don't score it round per round. We'll get into that more, but you want to close the round strong, do you not? Yeah, of course. You always want to uh, score. Um, There's another takedown, oh, and he's another. got him in the guard here, which is dangerous. But he's got only like how about much 30 time? Seconds, Does not have enough time. Yep. Sure. But like you said before, you want to finish strong each round. Even though in pride, you know, it's about who finishes the strongest at the end of the fight. It's the not round fight. by round. They're scoring throughout the fight, and it's a culmination rather than individual rounds being scored. But again, they like to see the aggressor more toward the end of the fight even, but who's trying to finish, who's trying to be aggressive. And there he is, the end of round one. Quentin now helping Marillo up, and both fighters giving each other a hug and a little bit of a smile there. And the good thing is we're going to see the Pride girls now for the first time of the evening. Well, I tell you, I've been waiting all night for the Pride babage, and, you know, these knockouts are killing me. Now we've there. Oh, giddy up, ladies and gentlemen. Saitama Super Arena, 35,000 plus, and some Pride girls out in the ring. Who do you think had the advantage as far as, not as far as points necessarily or most effective punches, but as far as the way this fight is going, the style of fight we are seeing here as we look at action from round one. Now, now we're here, we see the armbar. And now when he knows that Quinton is gonna slam him, so what does Murillo do? He holds his leg, watch, so Quinton cannot stand up. It's perfect, moves it over on his belly. And now he's gonna turn it over. It, it's unbelievable technique. Squint was very smart. He's going to jump over him right now. That's there he goes. He goes out. And now he's and going to go boom, for a triangle right choke. Slams him down. Gets out. And look at the face of Murillo after the slam. Watch this. Watch this if they show his face. He was I able hope to, they're going to show it. He was able to oh. avoid that right hand, which would have really been trouble. But, I mean, that is just a chess match right there. Great job by Quinton jumping over. And then, boom, the scissor. And um, here we go with the, with the guillotine. Now he's going to close the guard around him. And this is dangerous too. You see, uh, Quentin has his left arm underneath. So if he would take him down, he could even. Yeah, now he's pulling it out. Pulling which is that very left smart, arm out. Because otherwise he can also end up in a triangle choke. Wow, taking it to the ground, still holding on. What a round. Amazing that at that point, he still has the strength, the endurance to pick up Murillo, walk him toward the ropes, toward his corner, so that he can, you know, a absolutely absolutely make the move there. Just a tremendous show of strength right there. As we get, oh, Boss is changing phones on me. He's doing all kinds of crazy things. I don't know what all he's doing. He's doing some equipment. So he's checking. Okay, I'm back, I'm well, back. Well, you were uh, checking ah. to make sure the package was all there, yeah, Boss? Yeah, the Jesus. All right, well, Just we're good to go. Just the round starts. And here we go for round two. As they touch gloves one more time. Quinn Jackson in the army trunks, if you will, kind of the camouflage look, and the black trunks with red borders. Marillo, not. And again, they start this. They start this standing. And the crowd, the Japanese crowd, very, very smart. Several of the fighters talk to me about how they enjoy the crowd because. A, when the fight goes down to the ground, they are not booing. They're watching the chess match here. And that is, this is exactly the way the first round started, boss. Yes, and uh, talking about the crowd, this is a smart move, by the way. Quentin should wear that leg down, make the stick in the jab, and then go for a takedown. He right knee to, uh, left knee to the body there, which is very smart. Is, Avoid the guard. His corner Don't telling him go. that that right leg kick is open. Continue to take it. He should stay out now. Murillo, uh, Murillo is going to pull out his right foot. You watch. And then he's going to close the guard There's around There's a couple him. of there left hooks to the body. And now, as Boss uh, so astutely put it, the guard is closed here. And it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a battle to try to get free. He wants to get this back up. No question about that. But there, again, good body work when he is down in there. Take advantage of that opportunity. He's doing a good job, but he's going to make one mistake. And Murillo is going to take, um, is going to capitalize. Again, there you have that very expensive word from a Dutch guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> on it that he's That's a big it. one for you. Capitalize. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's like sounding, aluminum. Oh, it's aluminum. aluminum. Oh, it's <laughs> capitalize on the aluminum siding. Well, it sounds smooth here. to me. He's trapping his arm already. He's probably going for an arm bar on the left arm of um, Quentin Jackson. Well, that's it. Neck crank is very Neck dangerous crank because they can, also, they can also go for arm bar. Now he's going, He's able to get up with a right to the head and then able to stand up on that open guard. So Rampage again, able to get out effectively, knows that's not where he wants to spend any time during this fight. He should go to the body. Rampage go, should. And there's a left there's to the body and now a knee to the body. Two knees to the body and a and right hurt uppercut. Him. And that hurt him. A right hurt. uppercut. Following the two knees and now as you can see, referee is calling Marillo up. Marillo says, hey, come on. Can we do it downstairs? Can we go down here? Jackson's smart now. Jackson should throw a liver shot. Yes, ladies and gentlemen at home, that's your first shot right there. Liver shot, shot's fired. As uh, boss will Whoa, right announce that to you. The low kick again being instructed that it is open. According to his corner, they want him to work that. Work that. Marillo now with a couple of combinations. One just grazes the face of Quinn Jackson, who again with the right kick and very effective there. That's going to wear down. That it's going to wear down. If he, a couple more, he's already limping on it. You see it. I think like three, Damn four more, up. and that could end the fight. There you go. And there he's boom, boom with the jab, almost faking the right punch and whack with the leg. Excellent combination. Exactly what he should do. If he's close by, go for the body and the right low kick right now. There's a straight hand by Murillo trying to get in. Another right kick by Rampage. You see Murillo already starts Another limping right. now. Oh, those got hurt. They, they hurt, trust me. <laughs> they, you know, also, because Murillo is leaning on his back leg, so his front leg, the muscles are not tense, so they don't catch the real kick. They're, they, they're, they're really penetrating right now. Not able to get... Uh, to tighten up, if you will, to take the blow. And there is a combination left-right, but again, nothing real effective there by Rampage. Another attempt to kick. Yeah, but the, the thing is, a low kick you should set up. Set it exactly up, what the left is talking about here. A left jab. His most effective one of this round was set up with two left jabs, then the fake right punch that came into the left kick, and it obviously, obviously was effective. You can hear it down here. There's a little combination to the head of Quentin Jackson by Murillo now, who's showing his box up, he's showing his stand-up skills here. And there's a combination. We got one minute left. Ooh, and that was one hard low kick. Full with the shin. Ooh, and oh, knee good again. knee right there. Yeah, this. There's the missed. Yeah, the knee's coming from here. Punch oh. again, and Murillo is able to take it down. That's where he wants to be again. Minute less than in this round two. He's crawling a real high guard up, and he opens it up. That means he's going for something. He knows he has only about 45 seconds left, so he's got to do something. He cannot let this opportunity go by. He's opening his guard now. There's some left, some left, some left, and now a right by Quinton, who's just trying to stay busy, I think, in this position to get out of this round. Stay busy, and that was very busy with the overhand right right there. He's going to pull his left knee up. He's going to go for a triangle, probably. Oh, no, Quinton is smart. Very gets nice. Gets out. Very Sensed smart. It. Sensed it, no doubt about it, and was able to get up. Quinton fighting a very smart fight in this second round. Ball. Yes, he shoots a low kick. At least one more low kick now, just before the end. And there it is. We head to round three. Quinton, Rampage, Jackson, and Marillo Bustamante of Brazil. The weigh-ins at Rampage at 200. Felt shape, Marillo at 204. As the Pride Girls get their second action of the night here yeah. in the third fight of the night. Yeah, let me look at that. You ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's look at this rerun, the replay. Oh, nice, nice knee to the solar plexus. And another, another knee. Another one. Beautiful. And then that right hook, I think, also. But Marillo, smart right there, just gets on his butt, gets to the ground. No doubt about it. Oh, That's where, oh, 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 look at that. Thank you, but no thank you is all I can say to those knees right there. And you can see him feeling his bottom lip there. Obviously, one of those, and I'm not sure if it was the knee or this, this punch right here. That uppercut right there, I think, actually caught him in the lower lip. As you can see, he went to the ground immediately after that. His corner now talking to Mario Sperry there, talking to him, saying, all right, here's what we want to do. We oh. want to get more of them jokes going. Wouldn't that be? I, I think so, but I think they do it in Portuguese, not in English. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so give me an example of that, boss. 
Muta, mucho fuerza, venga, un arezo. La feta, traigo. Triangle, traigo chuquito. Ah, and uh, what is it? Rampage, and they will probably say, stick the jab or a left hook and follow it up with the right low kick. That's Rampage Corners. No question in round two, that right kick, his corner kept encouraging him. And as a matter of fact, said it's open all the time, but you got to set it up. If you set it up, it's there. And you saw him use it effectively, especially two or three of them very effective. The most effective was set up perfectly with two jabs, fake right punch, bam, kicks him on the, uh, with the right leg. Yeah, it was unbelievable. It's exactly like you said. It's like you're doing it for a long time already, setting it up with the jab or the hook, low kick. Textbook work right there, but this is the last round. Knowing Quentin, he doesn't want to keep it this way. He doesn't want to go to a distance. Again, the winner of this will join Chuck Liddell in Total Elimination 2003, November. Four fighters of the eight middleweights will advance. Here we go, final round, round three. Quentin starting with the kicks right away, boss. Yep. Final conflict coming up in November. Marillo attacking there with the left right. Again, Marillo's boxing. Right low That's kick. another right low kick, and you can just hear them. You can just hear them, and they've got to be adding up. I mean, yeah, but the, although this one was with the foot, and you, uh, the the ones that you don't hear with the shin bone. That's the one that More, really That's the one that really, all right, there it is. Boss knows he's delivered and probably received a kick or two in the game. Oh, yes, I did. And I have. Wants <laughs> <laughs> well, to make sure the have comes out there as well. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with it. It's, it's quite nice. disturbing when you have to go to the restroom. Overhand right there, blocked Ooh, nicely. There's the a left, left that connects, as you can see the sweat fly. Off the middle of money, another right kick. And that, that right kick there is just kind of, hey, to let you know it's still here, I'm still going to use it. Not real uh, damaging, but hey, it's here, it's a weapon. Nice you better prepare for it. Nice right hand. Right hands. Get away. That's what he should do. His corner again telling him, let him stand up, let him stand up. That is exactly what they want Rampage to do. And quite frankly, since right. the beginning of round two, smiting, uh, fighting a very smart fight is Quentin Rampage Jackson. Yes. He, right now, and like, like we said, with the scoring card, he's got to stay busy. Because if he's going to finish strong in this fight, he's going to get the victory. Again, that scoring, not in boxing that you may be familiar with, where they're doing round by round. There are three judges, but it is kind of a cumulative deal. And the more active you are in trying to finish the fight here in the third round, the better they like it. Going for the body there with the jab. Now, we haven't seen that much since round one. He's gone more to the leg kick, but again, that... that as you like to see, liver shots can be very effective for Rampage in this fight. Yeah, if he throws a left jab to the body, he should follow it up with the right straight to the head. Or he should throw that combination again like he did before, the left hook to the head and the right straight to the body. Once that penetrates, he should do left hook to the head, right straight to the body, and another left hook that will probably result in a knockout. It looks like he's trying to clinch it from the top to get that left knee to the body there too, going toward him, trying to grab the head and then throw that knee. There's a right that misses from the, from the leg of Quentin Jackson. Boss Rutten, Damon Perry here, Kama Super Arena Pride Fighting Championships, Total Elimination 2003. This is the second of four middleweight fights. We saw Fedor uh, defeat Gary Goodrich, and there, all oh, they go down immediately into the guard there. Yep, and that's not the place you want to be. Quentin should, I think, maybe even just stand, stand up and slam him down uh, where he's known for. But watch really how to the process of doing it. <laughs> Yes. Well, and again, he had to work so hard in round one to do that, and it's got to and get more he, he and more get difficult. The the fight now. goes on. That's good, good right hands to avoid that right there by Rampage. Good right hands right to the face of Morello, and that was the only way he was going to get out of that one. Yeah, it's the neck rank. Once you do a neck rank, if you're susceptible for uh, arm bars, and that was what Morello right away went for. Under two minutes to go here in the third and final round. Morello grabbing the right leg of Quentin Jackson, and they are back in Morello's favorite spot. Jackson now with the hammer and now with the left to the face here. Got to stay active. He's been able to get out of this when he stays active with those punches. Yep, he start, has, has to start working. Body shots, hat shots, throw it all out. Murillo looks like he wants to pull his left leg underneath the armpit of Quinton and then go for a triangle choke. That seems to be his favorite move yes. in this fight. It looks like he can't pass it at this moment. It's very dangerous for Quinton. 
to have your right arm that close to the body of Murillo. One minute left. One minute to go in the final round. We'll see him get active now as Rampage is throwing right hands, throwing right hands, still in the guard of Murillo Bustamante. There's a right that connects to the face. Got to be active right now. Yes, the one who's going to finish this fight the strongest is going to be the victor. Um, There's a right to the face there, a following a right to the body. That connected well. He should keep working, keep working, going as hard as he can. Going for a neck crank again, but again, Murillo now is going to slip it underneath his left knee. Under 30 seconds to go, boss. Under 30 to go. This will be the first fight of the night that goes the distance. And it's a tight one, no question about it, but Rampage just staying busy now. There's a, a forearm to the body, another one right under the armpit of Arillo Pustamante. And again, those body shots all day, as long as you're down there and able to throw, that also a sign a little bit, I think, of fatigue oh. from Bustamante as there's the bell. And the, the fight is at each over. Other. And, and now Rampage picking him up as though he were gonna do the Just Rampage slam. slam. A little bit late for that, but obviously, all in good natured fun as the two fighters showing a tremendous amount of respect for each other here. This the first fight and then there's Ricardo Arono going out to give his teammate and friend and inspiration quite frankly he talked about yesterday as we met with them. Inspiration that he was able to do this fight so he is picking up his friend and obviously very pleased with the effort Mario Sperry and company pleased with their fighters effort. How do you see this one going out? It's obviously going to the judges. Yes, you know, in fights like this, I'm happy to not be a judge, but the commentator, so uh, I stay away from everything. Thank you. Oh, you, you little, you. I don't want to say you. Lightweight, but uh, what did you think? I, I mean, obviously, I Rampage th yes. got into some trouble early, but then I thought he was so smart in rounds two and three, and when he did get onto the ground, was active, and I think he'll get this decision. I think so, too. First to Rampage. Whoa, it's going to be a split decision. Oh, what is this going to be? Rampage! Rampage oh. wins! Whoa! Wow! A split decision. And I saw a momentary severe disappointment on the face of Murillo. His corner disappointed, obviously. But then walks right over to Quinn, gives him a hug, shows the respect. This was a tough oh, bout. Squad. Tough bout for Quinn, but impressive that he's able to stay disciplined. He's got a great corner, stay disciplined keep getting out of those potential dangerous situations in the guard of Bustamante and just do what he does. And here you see Murillo Bustamante was hugging Ricardo Arona. He replaced him. Arona, definitely proud of him. Like I said before, big cojones, and that's a big left hook right there. Didn't even flinch. Boom for the body and the head. And Arona now stepping off the stage as we watch these highlights, but kind of his Arona Shaking his, uh, shaking his head a little bit in, in disbelief as though he obviously does not agree with the decision here. As we watch highlights, there's a good oh. left knee by Rampage, followed right there by that right to the face. That was a tremendous combination by Rampage. 